In the 21st century, our ability to feed ourselves will be tested as never before. Already, food prices have soared, and across three continents, the hungry have turned to protest. The world faces pressure on food supplies from an exploding population. And we are consuming more than ever, at levels that are simply unsustainable. The world's resources essential to food production are in scarcer supply than ever. We have imbalanced the ecological system. Soil health is lost. Our surface and groundwater we have lost. We will need some radical solutions to these complex problems before the world goes hungry. If we are going to survive until 2050 and without having mass starvation, we simply have to use this technology. Over recent years, the warnings have been growing louder and more urgent. Food scarcity is an issue that no one can ignore. So I think food security, even for those of us living in affluent countries, is going to become an issue. Lester Brown is the founder and president of the influential campaign group, the Earth Policy Institute and has been an environmental and agricultural analyst for 50 years. It's going to take more and more of our income to feed ourselves. Uh, in the US, um, even more than in the UK, we've become accustomed to rather cheap food over the years. I mean, we spend way under 20% of our income for food. Over the last five decades, Consumers in the developed world have become accustomed to an abundance of cheap food whenever they want it. New Covent Garden in London, England is the UK's largest fresh produce market. It's nicknamed London's Larder by locals, but the produce comes from all over the world. In fact, 90% of the fruit and 40% of the vegetables that Brits eat are imported. Paul Bishop.